Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Today's video is from Electrical Machines, the book by Mr. Chapman. And here we'll be solving an assignment question, uh, which is similar to end chapter question 2.11. And this is on the request of a student. The only difference here is that it has a delta delta connection. So we'll discuss that. First of all, the question. And it's a long question, so I'll break it down into parts and then we'll see. So first of all, the first part. Now a 60 MVA, 230 kilovolt slash 115 kilovolt delta delta three phase power transformer. So let's see that. How does it look? Okay, so this is a delta delta connection. And uh, this has 60 MVA, we know power on both sides remains same. And this is always the line voltage. So this is V line primary side, and this is V line secondary side. And then it has these parameters that we'll see. Now here is a very important point. Always solve three phase questions by using single phase technique. Oh, one more point I forgot is the load. If the transformer supplies a load of 48 uh, megavolt amperes, so let's assume that the load is a three phase motor and this will consume 48 megavolt ampere and it has 0 0.85 lagging power factor so we noted that so this is the complete circuit now we'll try to convert this into single phase okay so first of all for delta we know that the line voltage and the phase voltage are equal so this is the line voltage this is the line voltage and it is also the phase voltage in case of a delta in case of a Y, it would have been different. We'll, uh, I'll uh, explain it in question uh, uh, that we do ahead. Anyway, this point you have to keep in mind that V line is also equal to V phase. Now, if you draw a single diagram like here, single phase diagram, transformer, so the power will be what? There are three transformers, 60 MVA, so for single transformer, the power gets divided. So 60 divided by 3 is 20 MVA. And we know that the power remains same on both sides. So 20 MVA, 20 MVA. Primary voltage. As we said that the line voltage and phase voltage are same. 230 primary. Therefore, this will be also 230 primary in the phase. And similarly, uh, the secondary same technique, secondary is 115. So this will also be 150 volt. And just to remind, this, this load will also now be divided into three parts. So I've just cut it into one third. And what will be now the power consumed by this one third of the load? 48 MVA divided by 3, 16 MVA. The power factor remains same. So this is just for your understanding. Now, this was the circuit that we broke down. We have to uh, go into the single phase equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit per phase for a transformer. And the parameters given here will be incorporated. Now, read again. RSC, uh, or some, in some books it is called R equivalent. It is 0 0.07 PU, that is in per unit. So this is given in per unit. Similarly, the per unit reactance XC is also called X equivalent. It is 0 0.35 PU. Then we write J with the reactance. Then coming on to RC, this is the uh, excitation branch. So excitation branch uh, resistive component is 150 PU 
and the reactive component is 37.5 and we put j with this also so this is our uh, equivalent circuit for single phase now for simplification we do away with the uh, uh, excitation branch so this is what is left just just the upper part so we will solve this circuit now there are three formulas uh, are used in the book the first part of the uh, question first part of the question uh, has uh, asked to calculate the voltage regulation there are three formulas given in the book if our circuit is in uh, per unit pu therefore we'll use this formula okay now before we use this formula let's write the kvl equation for this circuit so we start from one corner negative p epu then we have i now this current here it is saying ippu and this is ispu but since the same the same current the and we are interested in the load part therefore we'll write it as i secondary per unit so i secondary per unit multiplied by this plus i secondary per unit multiplied by this term and plus this is vspu from here uh, if you take on the right hand side it will be positive so this is our equation number one we could have also taken common is and r equivalent plus j can can be written as uh, z equivalent or z equivalent anyway now each single phase transformer supplies a load of 16 mba we have discussed i'm just now the one third of the motor i'm replacing with the load uh, so this is the same thing so how do we calculate the current first of all the secondary current now this current is flowing through this is the secondary current so we can say that it is this power divided by this voltage here so the power is 16 mva and the voltage in this whole secondary circuit is 115 volt here at uh, so we we'll use that vs is 115000 volt and the answer will be that secondary current is 139.13 ampere now since everything is in pu therefore we have to convert this current also in pu and to convert into pu we need a base voltage so i hope you have an understanding of what is how to calculate per unit i have a video and try to give the link in that uh, you can follow that as well and anyway wherever there is a transformer wherever there is a change in the voltage we have to have a separate uh, base voltage base current base impedance similarly here we are in this we have to uh, first of all find the base current here now for base current formula remains same except that we are now calculating here therefore s load will not be 16 mba rather it will be the rated mba 20 mba so the base value of the secondary current is s5 base vs so it is 20 mva from here divided by the same voltage so it is 173.91 ampere now that we have got the base voltage and the actual uh, sorry base current and the actual current we can find the pu value so is in per unit is is actual divided by base from here 139.13 base that is 0 0.80 per unit now it is better that we also write the phase angle with this and the phase angle can be obtained from the power factor 0 0.8 lagging so we'll write it cos universe 0 0.85 and if you calculate this it will be minus 31.79 so this is our ispu complete with the magnitude and phase angle
Okay, so we were here, we have calculated ISPU and we can plug in, but we don't know what is VSPU. Now there are the, the best method is that we are look here, the, the rated voltage is always the base voltage. So the base voltage is 115 and the actual voltage here is also 115. So 115 divided by 115. It is 1.0 PU. Also, we can use the uh, phase diagram, and here we call that we take this as one because this is we are taking as reference, and all measurements are based on this reference. Therefore, we can write it as 1.0 and we'll see. Anyway, whichever method you like, I think this is a better method. So we SPU have found, we have found the current and we have found these values. So plugging in all these values and solving, we find VSPU to be 1.21 angle 9.90. And now we'll use the voltage regulation formula and putting in the value. So VPPU is 1.21, this is 1, this is 1. So it comes to be 21%. Voltage regulation is 21%. But technically, this is very bad because the transformer should not drop much voltage. It should be around maybe 2-3%. But here we are getting 21%. Anyway, this is my comment. Now we come to the second part of the question. What is saying? Imagine that the three-phase transformers where a trio single phase transformer connected in a three phase bank. So there are three transformers connected and DD means delta delta. In ohms for the for those three transformers, what are the model impedances? RSC, XSC, RKS. So these are the this, this is uh, RSC or R equivalent X and uh, similarly RC and XM. Now these are in PU. What he is asking is to write these values in terms of ohm. Now here is a formula that is used that anything in PU is actual value divided by the base. Now we want to find the actual value in ohms. So from here we can say that Z equivalent ohms is Z base into ZSE. Now ZSE PU given all. All you have to do is find Z base. And the formula for Z base is V square over R. You know, V, uh, sorry, V square over power. We know that uh, uh, power is V square over R. From there, we can write that R is V square over power or Z is V square over power. Now, this V base, this is V base which is 115 and S base is uh, 20 MVA. So we'll use that. So using that, uh, we get this answer that is Z base is 661.25. And now we can use here to find all the values in ohms. So first of all, RSC 0 0.7, this multiplied by Z base, Yes, 46.28 ohm. Similarly, XSC or XE, 0 0.35 multiplied by the uh, Z base. And similarly, RC, 150 multiplied by Z base. And XM is 37.5 multiplied by Z base. So these are the values in ohms. And if you want to write them on the circuit that we have, this becomes in ohms R and X and R and XM. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.